Hey friends, happy Tuesday. Um, it is Tuesday, all day. And I wanted to um, chat with you a minute. For those of you that um, have seen in our posts lately, we have this super cute pair of joggers um, for sale online. And they say, consider the fields down the side of it. So actually, we had this incredible response to these joggers. Um, they are selling like crazy. It's friends and even people that I don't know are ordering them. I'm so excited about this. Um, I never imagined, uh, I mean, I like them, but I didn't know if anyone else would. Uh, it was super exciting to see the response. I was very encouraged. I loved hearing that people were so excited to get them. Uh, we are even throwing in like a free gift that goes with them to um, sweeten the deal because we're working on something else that I can't wait to share with you, but we're still figuring this out. So whoever buys the joggers gets the guinea pig option. We get to practice on you uh, with uh, an amazing free gift that's going along with it. Hopefully we can have your feedback on that. But um, the posting of the joggers, once I started putting that online, I got some messages from friends and followers and whatever you want to say in between um, asking for clarity for um, what is Consider the Fields and what is Project Hope, right? Because we promote the t-shirt club every month, the last five days of every month, the cart opens, we um, post about it as much as we can. We get anybody who's been on the wait list and get everybody to come on in, whoever wants to join and sign up um, those last five days of the month. And we promise that 100% of the profit of um, the t-shirt club goes directly to fund Project Hope. And that is the home and the store uh, that we want to build. We're we'll going to buy the store, and then the home will need to be renovated and built um, on the property that we have in mind. And it's going to be a faith based, uh, long term recovery program for women um, trying to overcome substance abuse that want to recover with their children. So, in other words, the kids won't have to go into foster care. Uh, the family doesn't need to be broken up. We can meet them where we're at, get them the help that they need where they're at, um, healing the family um, instead of having to hopefully not split and divide and, um, you know, um, break up our families when, whenever we, whenever possible. We don't have to do that. So um, that is the core of Project Hope. And of course, the vision is so much bigger than any of that. But I created the T-shirt of the month club in order to um, pro promise and provide a way for people to be able to give. And um, so that's where the T-shirts come from. Every month you get a newly designed T-shirt, a new color, new design, new uh, verse, and then whatever the verse is. Um, goes inside the picture frame and a devotional that you can get in your inbox. You can print it off, download it, whatever you want to do. That all goes together. It's just the theme of the month. It's been a lot of fun doing that. We're having a lot of success and it's growing very well and I am so grateful. So the t-shirt of the month club definitely supports Project Hope. So far it's been able to pay our attorney to uh, work on um, the uh, Certificate of Incorporation. I knew I should have taken notes, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. The um, state corporation, we have our official state seal for officially the Project Hope Foundation is what it's called. Uh, we're in the process of working with the IRS to get a federal ID number, we went ahead and applied for it. And because the name is so close to um, several other Project Hopes, their scanning system caught it, so they need to manually review it. So we are more than halfway within that 45 day waiting period. Thanks a lot, COVID. Um, instead of just getting a federal ID number and going down to the bank in opening that account for Project Hope, the Project Hope Foundation. 
So all that to say, um, what is consider the fields? And that's where I wanted to explain the difference. So consider the fields is the business that I started last year when the kids were going into adoption and I knew we were going to have six children in our home between the ages of seven and 17 and they need me to be available for them. I was fired from my job, just kidding, but really Tim sat me down and told me I was free to pursue what I wanted to pursue, which I had no idea what that was, um, but we had found people at the shop, thank you Alicia, you're amazing, um, to take over the day-to-day -day things that I had been doing for 15 to 20 years at the shop. Um, do not be there um, anymore to, I want to help our team, but I cannot be there all the time for them. So Consider the Fields was born where I was planning on blogging and writing and basically just starting online sharing what we have gone through in our foster and adoptive um, journey. And that's all at considerthefields.com. And I share recipes and tips and tricks and family hacks and adventures and all the things that we're learning through having a family of eight and all the things that we go through day to day, uh, hopefully encouraging other people. So that was the plan. Um, it's just a regular small business that's registered as a single member LLC. And the mission of Consider the Fields is to fund Project Hope. We have no employees right now. Everything I do completely is just doing my thing and I guess you could call it a passion project. Um, I knew I had to set up a legit business because we already had so many others that this needed a liability of its own. But Project Hope will be specifically set up as a 501c3 and that's a nonprofit. That means if you give Project Hope money we can give you a tax deductible or tax write-off, whatever you want to look at, piece of paper that you can claim on your taxes as given as a contribution and you don't have to claim income on those taxes. So that's what we're working on when I say we have the certificate of um, incorporation and we're waiting on that federal ID number and our attorney is um, drafting the articles that we need to establish who we are, what we're doing, and, and the purpose of what the Project Hope Foundation is supposed to do. So just so there's no confusion or anything like that, it was a lot easier to explain that we are a small business, uh, consider the fields is, and that was the name that I had had decided on. It came from Proverbs 3116. Sorry, Abby made this painting for me. She actually painted it for me. Uh, during that time, we were painting on office and, and moving stuff over here, and I really did start blogging online. So I always keep this with me um, as a reminder. And so when I say the vision of Consider the Fields is to fund Project Hope, that's to say we use what we make from this business, any sales, any anything, to funnel the growth of Project Hope. We're going to need some type of a business and um, all those things. So when I say um, you're buying from a small business and you buy that pair of joggers uh, or you buy a t-shirt online or you buy, um, we're about to launch an amazing Christmas um, program. It's going to be so cool, but consider the fields is doing that. So technically you are buying from a small business when you buy those joggers, buy that t-shirt, or buy some of the Christmas packages that we're going to have to offer um, in the next week or two. You're going to start seeing some little sneak peeks there. Um, so you are buying from a small business in Franklin County, Virginia, and that money literally goes to Project Hope. Now, we'll say we use that money to pay for the internet, to pay for electricity, to pay for um, uh, paper and cardstock and some of the new supplies that we're buying. Now, the T-shirt of the month club, that money is li literally promised over to Project Hope every month, the profit at the end of the day, after we pay for the T-shirts, after we pay for the shipping, 
um, the the money that is profited on the T-shirt of the month club that is not touched. 100% of that goes to Project Hope. And when we cut the check for the attorney and when we cut the check for all the things that we do online and, and everything that it takes to support all that, that's where that comes from. So there's good news there in case you need to know. Um, so when you say, some people were asking like, what is the percentage? Like when they buy the joggers or when they buy just a one-off t-shirt from the website or wait till you see these Christmas packages, you wanna know like what percentage of the profit is going towards Project Hope. Well, the profit goes to Project Hope. Um, so we don't even call it a percentage for that. Again, anybody who gives anything to consider the fields at this point is completely volunteer. It's me, it's Tim, it's Abby, it's Alicia. Um, Lacey came and helped me pack those t-shirts last week uh, by hand together. We, we both did that and it's completely volunteer. Uh, Mary has run to uh, Roanoke to pick up those t-shirts for me before. Um, so there are so many people that give as volunteer and um, that's just how small we are right now and we're just funneling all of that money right over to starting this whole thing up from the ground up to hopefully support the store and um, have books that show that we can make money and we have the potential to make money so if we need to talk with banks we have that option as well um, showing the income and the sales and the supplies so when you see something like that posted and you see it's from Consider the Fields, you are making a choice to spend your money with small business and it's us, it's our team, it's our people and the vision and mission for Consider the Fields is to fund the dream of the Project Hope Foundation. So I hope that clarifies a little bit. Um, the questions, I was able to respond to the questions that I got in messages and inbox and all that. And, um, you know, our people were happy with what we were sharing. It got me thinking that it might be a little confusing as to who is who and what is what and um, all the things that go along with running a business. Consider the Fields was a way for us to start doing something, to start making money um, immediately for. Um, I guess the dream that we have just so we we were able to set something up the online store and all those things within the next couple months like the, literally the next month or two as soon as we get that federal ID number from the IRS we will be able to take that plus our certificate and our articles of incorporation and go down to the bank and create a bank account for the Project Hope Foundation and that money right there um, or that 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 bank account right there will enable us to put a donate button on our website. So when you would ever click that donate button, that will go directly into the Project Hope Foundation. That it will do nothing to consider the fields. We just support the website supports um, the the click through button and the PayPal option or, or all the things. That money goes directly to the Project Hope Foundation and that's where you would be able to get your tax deductible receipt um, if you want to use that to claim for tax purposes and all the things that will be a 501c3. So in the meantime we have Consider the Fields, a small business and that's running books, it's paying taxes and everything that goes along with running a small business basically just to fuel the vision of Project Hope and get us started and get us going. So I hope that's enough to answer. If y'all have questions, please feel free to to buy that, uh, you know, message in, write in. Um, we are still working out all the the ins and outs of everything. It's a very exciting time for us and some there's days I can't believe that our dreams are coming true and there's days I feel like we are never going to get there. But um, in order to avoid any confusion or anything like that, I did just want to clarify what we're doing and what we're about. So even when you're you're buying, you know, those single items and you know, and you see these Christmas packages, um, there is uh, a profit going to the Project Hope Foundation. Um, there's so many other bills to pay and so many other things that go behind the scenes to make something like this happen. So. Um, 
that's where small business comes in. But that 501c3 will let you directly donate and um, give straight to uh, the Project Hope Foundation very, very soon. So we could not be more excited about that. Uh, the community support has been overwhelming and we're so grateful. Um, it's so small, but it's so big. So, and that can change in a moment. So I try to encourage myself um, on the days when I feel like I just keep working so hard and um, I'm not quite seeing, I don't know what I want to see, you know, the storefront already or renovations on the house already. I don't know what I expect to see, but um, you know, in the future when we have employees and things like that, those will be paid for by Consider the Fields. And even when we head into the program, uh, we will be having house parents and um, workers aside from volunteer ministry that will be getting paid and some will be through project hope but consider the fields will also be supporting all of that too and then when you see the storefront as well uh, where our women are going to be working and learning and healing and growing and keeping a job and sewing into the program that is literally um getting them through and helping them through this time in their lives. Um, that will be um, also on, on payroll and have its own set of people beyond um, volunteers. We're definitely gonna need volunteers, but we will need stay, stay parents and house parents and women that are willing to come and, and help them and oversee the program and the store and work with them um, during, during store hours and then at home during house time. So that's as far as we've got so far. Um, I hope that answers any questions. I hope that sorts it out for you. Uh, we're free for messages. We're an open book. So if you guys do have any questions or concerns or you ever wonder how it's working behind the scenes or where this is headed, this is just a little glimpse for you. So I hope you all are having a great Tuesday. I hope um, you are... Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for supporting us and for being there, and um, we couldn't do it without you. Have a great day.